What's up YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, check this out. Today's video, the title, How Not to Get Robbed by Hookers. Now this should be common knowledge, but several of my subscribers have hit me up saying they've been taken advantage of by these scandalous bitches. And I decided to go ahead and make a video, teach you guys some of the tricks of the trade, some of the things I've learned through my experiences, some of the things some of my top subscribers like Bob and Don Julio and Bluesman have taught me and uh, pass this knowledge on to you guys so you don't get ripped off and taken advantage of. Guys, first and foremost, the oldest trick in the book is they rob you when you're in the shower. You get up to the room, they'll take a shower first and they'll set you up by saying, let's shower first, no worries. And then what they'll do is they'll take a shower and they'll get out of the shower and then they'll tell you, you go shower, you go shower. Chances are you've taken your clothes off right there by the bed, you step in the shower and bam, she hits you right then. This recently happened to a subscriber of mine in Medellin, Colombia, and he said she took his wallet and his money and it ruined his whole trip. Um, she's lucky he didn't take his clothes. That's what they'll do a lot of times. They'll take your clothes, your wallet, your money, and they'll hook ass out of there and you'll be embarrassed and you'll have to run out of the hotel naked or whatever or call reception. So that is number one. Do not fall from the travel for the shower scam. Also guys, if you're new here, Go ahead and smash that red like and subscribe button. Guys, I'm not going to edit this video. This is going to be a one take Drake, so you're going to have to bear with me right here. This is totally impromptu because I had some subscribers send me emails and trying to take care of you guys. Guys, number two, very important. Watch her hands. If you're getting a lap dance in a club or maybe she's in a room on her knees in front of you, where are her hands? A lot of times she'll be dancing in front of you or she'll be on her knees doing something else and you're not paying to her hands and her hands are in your pockets and she's grabbing your money and pulling it out. So always watch your hands. Number three, guys, never let one of these girls see your wad of cash. I remember one time a girl came up to me at one of the bars in Nuevo Laredo down in Boys Town and she had this enormous wad of cash. She was laughing her ass off. I said, how'd you get that? She said, well, I saw it. He took all his money and he put it on the table. And she said, and we were doing the deed and his time ran up and he grabbed his money and he said, how much more? She said, all of it. And she just snatched it all. Guys, if a girl sees your wad of cash, the price is gonna go up, okay? Always have your money separated. Take care of yourself and be smart, okay? If she's an $80 girl, why the hell are you gonna show her 300, 400, 500? Do not do that. Another thing, guys, never leave her access to your car keys, okay? Two examples I've seen of guys getting keys, getting cars stolen because of their key situation. One is a guy goes in to take a shower and he takes his money in his pants, but for whatever reason, he left his car keys and his laptop on the table inside the hotel room. What'd she do? She gets up, she grabs his keys, she takes off down the road, she knew what car he was in, where he was parked. She jumped in his shit. She took off. Horrible story. Guys, here's another example of something that happened to a personal friend of mine on Figueroa down in Los Angeles. He picked up this street hooker, takes off down the road to the Chevron station, okay? Leaves the car running, gets out to go pump gas. He's pumping gas with the fucking hose in the gas nozzle, okay? In the hole. What does she do? She just kind of skips. She was a real skinny girl, a spinner. She skips from the passenger seat. She just scooted her ass right over the console into the driver's seat. Put that son of a bitch in drive and drove off. Ripped the damn hose and gas nozzle and everything out. Crazy shit, guys. So pay attention right there. Never let them have access to your keys or your money. All right, guys. Another thing that should be very basic never go anywhere with these girls. I mean, you know, I recommend Tijuana Zona Norte, the red light district, because it's 100% legal and you have security at the big four clubs that I work, that I talk about. The Adelita Bar, the Hong Kong, the Chicago, and the Tropical, okay? But unless you really, really know a girl, never get in the car with her and her say, hey, let's go down to my sister's house. Hey, let's go down to my friend's house. Chances are there's a pimp or somebody there that's gonna roll you guys. Happened to a good friend of mine. His name was Kevin. I won't say his last name. He met a girl. They hit it off. She said, hey, let's go back to my place. They take off hauling ass down the road. She takes him right into a hotel room and bam, 
He shows up at my door the next day with no damn shoes on. They took everything from him you can imagine, okay? So, don't go anywhere with these girls. I know a lot of you guys see me and you see other people riding around with these girls, some of the top subscribers talking about their experiences. But guys, that's years of experience. Professional, okay? You don't have any business doing that unless you really know what you're doing or you're going to get robbed, you're going to get in trouble. Here's another thing, guys. Never let the girl leave the room, okay? Once you pay for a service or whatever, don't go for this, hey, let me go down the road, I need to buy some condoms. Hey, let me go down the road, I need to get some lube. Or, hey, I'm really hungry, let me go across the street to this taco stand. Or, hey, take me down the road to this house, let, I'm just going to run in this house real quick and talk to my sister or get my cell phone. Absolutely not, guys. You cannot set yourself up to get fucked or you will get fucked every single time, okay? Like I've said before, these girls are hookers. They're street prostitutes. They're not the Girl Scouts, okay? They're scandalous. Guys, if you hadn't done it before, go ahead and smash that red like and subscribe button here. I'll tell you another funny story, guys, while I'm here, kind of wrapping up. So that's just some basics right there on how not to, um, how not to get robbed, how not to get rolled. You have to pay attention, guys. Another thing, never fall asleep. This happened to me about 20 years ago. You don't go in a room and crash with some girl that you don't know and fall asleep. You're going to wake up and your shit's going to be gone, okay? You take her upstairs, you smash, you dash, you get her out of there. If you're going to be staying somewhere for three, four, five days at a time, it's best to have two rooms. One room with all your personal shit in, your extra credit cards, your extra ATM card, your extra cash, and in the other room to smash and dash, okay? Always protect yourself. Always leave yourself an out. One time about 10, 15 years ago, I was sitting down at the Taco Loco in Tijuana. Now, the Taco Loco, for those of you who don't know, is kind of by the old bus station where the Wax Museum is. Guys, and by the way, the Wax Museum in Tijuana is super cool. It sounds stupid, but it's only a dollar or two to get in. It's super cool. If you happen to meet a girl down at the Adelita Bar, the Hong Kong Club, you want to take her out of that bar, a great idea is take her right up Revolution. Take her to the Wax Museum. Take her to Giuseppe's Italian Restaurant. You're going to spend some quality time with her. You're going to spend 20 or 30 bucks tops, and she's going to have a good time, okay? That's a tip. Anyway, I'm at Taco Loco across from the Wax Museum. And all of a sudden, I see this transvestite running wide open across the alley. And I'm like, whoa. And then I see this cop right behind her. And then I guess the cop tripped her or him or whatever it was. I'm not sure. But, you know, she kind of skidded out and slid on the concrete. And then he steps over. And he's got one of these fucking billy clubs on these old wooden sticks. And he pulls it out. And she says, Por Jesus Cristo. Oh, Jesus Christ. And he says something to the effect of, don't bring Jesus in this. Wham! Just knocks the shit out of this chick or this dude. And I'm sitting here at the Taco Loco with my two-for-one Bacardi and Cokes eating a taco. And I just watched this happen like Rodney King style right in front of my eyes. And I'm like, oh my God, he seriously just, just battered that dude or that girl or whatever it was. Here comes this other dude running. And this guy has no shirt on. He's like in his underwear and he's barefoot. Shower story. Apparently he paid this trans whatever to do something and she grabbed his wallet and took off down the road while he was in the shower. He took off running, chasing, hollering, screaming. Somehow or another, a cop saw it. You know, there's a lot of cop presence down in Revolution. And the cop got in behind her and was able to trip her up and, you know, beat her with a nightstick and get the guy's wallet back. All right. Just another crazy story about shit that happens in Tijuana. Go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Give me props. This has been One Take Drake. I hardly didn't screw up at all. Nine minutes and 30 seconds of straight fire, boys. Money. Until next time, we'll see you down the road. 